Welcome back to Salty Hills. Went out there kind of with the idea to chase snapper. Um, found something much better. He fell into a bunch of little chicken mahi and a big cobia swim up. Hey guys, before we go out, we just wanted to get with y'all. Um, obviously taking the small boat offshore, there's a couple things we keep in mind. If y'all want to skip this, Kaylee will slide over a chapter. Um, that's when we'll start fishing. For those, those of y'all that want to see what we do safety-wise, what makes this possible, what makes it as easy as possible, we're going to go through it, right? So first thing on my mind, safety, right? How do we get out there safely? How do we get back safely if something goes wrong? Um, first thing, iPhones, smartphones, anything like that. AT&T, we got service 14, 15 miles offshore on the good day. Any day we're taking one of these small boats out, easily 14, 15 miles. We've had service AT&T all the way out to 22, 23, 24 miles. Super important. Second thing, besides having good cell phone service, if you really are going far, Garmin inReach. I don't know exactly what these run anymore. We got ours a long time ago. I do know that the ease of staying off radios while you communicate with each other, as well as the safety part, right? You can text anyone you want. They have different plans. If you only want to text five times, 20 times, or unlim unlimited times a month. But for us, unlimited, we communicate a bunch out there. Um, has an SOS function even. Something really does go south. You don't trust that somebody's going to pick up their phone. Hit SOS. It's a, a private party. I don't know exactly how it works. Thankfully, we've never had to use it. Hopefully we don't have to, but I do know there's tons of stories. It's super successful. Um, Garmin inReach, super reliable for things when things really go south. If you happen to be close to someone, we do run a standard horizon radio on the boat. Um, it is wired into the boat. There's a bunch of handheld options for those of y'all that don't have as big of a console, for those of y'all that don't need as much range. For those of y'all that may want the wired in version, but you're wired, worried, hey, what am I gonna do with the antenna or anything? Our antenna actually folds up and down. So when we're in the bay, most of the time keep it down. Um, when we start going offshore, pull it back in the barn. Um, you have the ability, put it up, put it down. Super easy, pop it up, slides back down, pop it back up, slide it up, pop it back down, locks back in place. Um, going into our tackle situation, guys on these small boats, Unfortunately, on the like on the Cape Horn, we have a ton of room. You have tackle boxes underneath the seat, over the seat, on front compartments, back compartments. You have tackle boxes everywhere. We don't have that luxury on the small boats, right? So for us, I run two boxes. Um, first box is my big box, right? We keep this thing unzipped. It does have zippers. I just unclip it, flip it up. Keep all of our big leaders, anything that we're going to cramp, anything that needs to stay in tight coils, keep it up top here. Then we have all of our uh, all of our tackle boxes. My favorite one that we use today the most, our hook box, right? Um, got all of our different hooks in here, a bunch of jig heads, uh, trolling hooks. We've got our swordfish hooks in here. I even keep some snap swivels because they're on hand. Extra hooks for our jigs. The sharks have been absolutely awful the last couple of years. More uh, ballyhoo hooks, jig heads. And what we utilize the most today that you're gonna see is these circle hooks. These little tiny circle hooks, they save you when it comes to mahi. They're super easy to unhook. Um, you have them right here in your box. Even some little itty bitty J hooks, you come up on a triple tail or something like that. Easily accessible, little tiny J hooks, all the way to our bottom and grouper hooks. Um, super easy, we keep this box within reach, as well as the bag. Slide this right back in there, flip it back open, stow it away. This box over here, have all of our weights, all of our leader material on the side pocket. Um, this bag actually holds all of our wire leader, the side of this bag actually holds all of our fluorocarbon and monoliter that we use. Up front, keep your crimps, pliers, anything else you may need. Up here, we keep all of our spools of any extra mono that we need, any bigger lure packs, anything like that. Even on the small boat, guys, we always bring our mahi lures. Um, we have two zip-up bags kind of in one. Um, they collapse together, they roll up. Roll-up bags are the best way to keep any of your hard head lures jig heads, anything like that, they make it super, super simple. Moving up to what we were gonna use today, but we didn't use, um, snapper rigs. Guys, 
get yourself a little kingfish rig bag like this. We keep all of our bottom drop rigs in here, um, some extra sword uh, skirts, and then all of our snapper rigs pre-made right here. You roll up to the snapper spot, throw them together, um, and even some wahoo lures in the back. It just makes it so easy no matter what boat you're on. Look, whether you're on your own boat and you need to be organized or you're on somebody else's boat, if you know I have one, two, three, four bags and those have to come with me, those have to go in the car, these are so easy to forget. This little bag is so easy to forget. But if you know you have four and you're leaving your boat bar and you're leaving your house, you're leaving without four, that's a problem, right? So you keep this bag under your console, we keep this bag up front, we keep this bag underneath the console, we keep this bag up front. As far as our own boat goes, we know where they go. When you get on somebody else's boat, the last thing you need is six bags, they're half filled, they're not half filled. Guys, we keep all of our jigs, hooks, anything that's pretty much sharp in this one. If it's gonna hook a fish, it's in this one, besides our trolling bag. This bag is all of our essentials for rigging, bottom fishing, anything like that. We got all of our rigs, all of our trolling lures. Guys, that makes your day so much easier. When you do roll up on a school of mahi like we do, hey, you need little itty bitty hooks? Right here. We need different leader, side pocket. As you get more and more familiar with these systems, your day will become that much more successful. So hopefully this helps y'all a little bit. How do I fit all this tackle on a little tiny boat or even a big boat? Hey, I'm hopping, moving different boats, this and that. Guys, invest in some little bags. These are not expensive. I think this one's 40 bucks, 25 bucks, 10 bucks for the Kingfish rig bag. The roll-up options are never ending. Depends what brand you buy. I think that one was pretty cheap at 30 bucks. It's lasted me four years. Um, the one inside of that is actually six or seven years old. It's still in good shape. Um, guys, invest in your tackle, invest in organization, make your day on the water that much smoother and invest in your safety. Um, Kaylee put the price for this thing up there. She probably already did. She's good at that. Um, this thing right here, no matter what you're doing, Hey, AT&T has a blackout. Verizon has a blackout. You can still text off this thing. If you don't have Wi-Fi, anything like that. I keep this thing active all year round. It's so useful. Um, invest in your own safety, invest in your tackle, and your day on the water is gonna be that much more successful, guys. this little uh, jug over here and found some little mahi. I'm gonna try and see if we can maybe catch a couple of them. They're really, really decent. Let's see if we can get them to come up and eat. So we're tying on a, uh, a little, that little circle hook right there. I think we actually started with a little J hook when we first started just running straight to a 20 pound fluorocarbon. Shut up. <gasps> Shut up. A little baby mahi. Oh my gosh. A little bit of squid on this teeny tiny hook. And This is ridiculous. What? Why is it not stopping? None of them have. Okay, 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 okay. Do they, will they poke you? No, right? No. Hey. Stop. Stop. Ow. Stop. Don't freak it out. Just trying to stay right. They're following the boat now, but they localize back to that jug every once in a while. So try to stay close to the jug. Got to try and keep them, keep them fired up. If they're staying in one spot, it's easier. 
So we threw back at this jug right here. On that setup I'm throwing, I actually have two little tiny pinch rigs oh. on it. Like I said earlier, these fish were staying a little bit deeper. So yeah, we're yeah. throwing back to it. I was throwing way past it and then letting it sink down and then bring it underneath the buoy. And uh, right here we get hooked up and uh, that's what was working for us. Hey, Guna, stop. <laughs> no. Oh no, he's right there. He's hooked. Watch out, Goon. Goon, move. Go oh, drop. Sit. No Goon, sit. That's a pretty one. You guys can see him. See how green it is. Oh! <laughs> What'd you do up there? I was trying to show them how green he was and then he flew out of my hand. Leave that bale open. Let me take it. Nice. Goon. Goon. Stop. Hey, bud. I'm trying to let you go. That one's too small, so we're gonna toss him back. Oh my gosh! Huh? Cool. He's got a tiny little mahi in his mouth. Yeah, they they eat each other. <laughs> this mahi. Look at that. A teeny. Look at that, Cole. Yeah. The smallest little mahi I've ever seen. Get him, dude. Alright. Hold on. Catch one more. Okay. Something big just came out, came off the bottom and hung out for a second. Whoa. Hey, watch out. Oh, what is that, Cole? That's a cobia. Yeah, it is. That's a massive cobia. Get no, hold up. Get off me. Come back on it. I know, I am. He's throw over here now. Out. No, throw that back out. Actually, switch for me. Okay. So what? That other rod. Okay. Holy crap, that was a huge cobia. Mm-hmm. I guess you saw the commotion and showed up or what? That's probably what I saw come off the bottom. He's still hanging out. You see him? Oh, oh, watch out, watch out. I'm watching. I'm moving. Where is he at so I can wreak a little more havoc? He's right here. Oh, I see him. Holy cow. Dude, that thing's huge. I got him. You got him? Yep. Shut up. Oh. He broke you off? Yep, he did. Retie, he'll come back. He has to. 
Or throw your little green thing out there. No, he wants that, so. Hey, you need to keep catching those little things. Though. I am. I was trying to get a, a video. Yeah, he's still right there. No, Boone, watch out. He's still right here. He doesn't even know you was hooked. There he is. They baited me. There he is. <gasps> Shut up. Get Saskobia. We on. Dang, baby. Okay, this is gonna get really, really sketchy though. Look. Huh? Take this. Yep. I got one shot at this. Okay. Go. Yes! Get away from me. Get back! Get back! Holy sh! <laughs> cool! That's so cool! I had a song. Was like, what the f Holy crap! Right to be pissed. That is that thing is massive. What do I do? Guna, leave it. He has spines all over. Why are they so like tough, but also so delicate at the same time? I wish we had our tuna. Yeah, no shit. Killer. I think he's done. You'd be surprised on these. Really? They'll last a while? I mean, those pliers. Yeah. Oh, here they are. Hey. Holy cow! You put them in the front one? Yeah. Damn. I cannot believe we just caught a cobia. In order to keep this fish super cold and preserve the meat while we run back in, we filled this ice chest up all the way with ice this morning. It's melted a little bit now, so we're gonna throw some salt water in there and it's gonna create a slurry and make that fish super, super cold. So when we get back, he's easy to fillet and the meat stays preserved. Anytime you get into those little mahi, chicken mahi, it's a uh, 
It's an adventure to clean the boat afterwards. It's always fun. Anyway, guys. Hope you liked the video. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Ho we're hoping that the Mahi are going to stick around this year. It's a good start. June. Uh, we caught more Mahi, even though they're little. Caught more Mahi today, or more pounds of Mahi today, than we did all year last year. Yeah. And it was a rough year last my year. first Cobia. So, I'm excited to see what that tastes like. Yeah. Well, uh, probably throw up a picture of what that looks like after you cook it. Oh. Like, subscribe, and salty girls. Come get some. Yep.